Hi, my name is Luke and I, today I'll be showing you a bit about how I think about color when it comes to music. Now this instrument that I play here is called the steel drum or steel pan. It was invented in Trinidad and Tobago, where I'm from. And it might seem like there's a random uh, layout to this instrument, but it's actually very logical. This pan is set up in a circle of fifths. And what that means is the 12 notes, 12 notes in music are arranged in a circle. And the relationship between each note is that the note next to it is a fifth above. So this starts, it starts at C here in the middle. This is middle C. And if we go to our right, we're going up in fifths. So we have C, G, T, A, E, B, F sharp, and so on, all the way back to C. All right. And if we go to this side, we're actually going in fourths. Because if, if you flip a fifth, you get a fourth. C to F to B flat, E flat, A flat, C sharp, and so on. Now, uh, today I'll be teaching you a little bit about the way that I think about color when it comes to music. Now, for me, color is just another element of music that I can play with, uh, just like dynamics, loud and soft, just like pitch, high and low. I can play with color in music, and, and I hope this is useful not only for pan players like myself, but for any instrument, um, being able to understand harmony using the, using the visual aid of a circle of fifths um, really can open doors, hopefully, for your playing, for your composition, for your improvisation. So, so how does this help? Well, when I think about composing or improvising and thinking about the relationship between different tonal centers, I like to use the language of color, the language of light and dark. Okay? brightening a sound versus darkening a sound. And the way that you visualize this on the steel pan is by going in one direction along the circle of fifths to get brighter and going in the other direction to get darker. One way to remember it is that brightening it means adding sharps or taking away flats. So if I want to brighten C major, I add sharps. And when you add two sharps, so key has two sharps, D major. I had three sharps, A major, right? And notice as I add sharps, I'm actually moving step by step to the right here in my, in my circle of fits. So I go from C, add one sharp, get to G, add two sharps, get to D, add three sharps, get to A, and so on. Similar for the, for the flats. If I add one flat to C major, as I said, we get to F major. If I add two flats, E flat major, B flat major. If I add three flats, E flat major. Okay? So right, that's, keep, that's one thing to keep in mind. If I want to brighten a sound, um, first I said we can talk about that as adding sharps or flats, but now once we have, once we're familiar with the circle of fifths, we don't even have to necessarily think about sharps or flats. We can think about turning in one direction, moving in to one side of the circle versus moving to the other side of the circle, okay? And this helps, um, this helps me a lot because I find I'm a visual learner. And so when I'm learning harmony, learning um, changes, chord progressions, when I can analyze it in terms of which direction of the circle of it's, it's going. So just to add some language that can be helpful with us. When I want to brighten the sound, I can say, I can give a specific number to that by how many steps I go along in that direction of the circle of fifths. So if I start with C major and I want to brighten it by two steps, that means going two notes up uh, to the right of the, C of the or counterclockwise up the circle of fifths. So brightening by two means going from C major to D major. Okay, brightening by five would mean going five steps. So I go from C major to one, two, three, four, five. B major. So if I, if I wanted to darken C major by three, that means going three steps to the left. One, two, three, and we end up in E flat major. But how about you just listen, listen to it for a second now and see what you think. Do you feel the sound getting brighter or darker? Yes, C major. Okay, do you hear that getting brighter or darker? You tell me. How 
about this? Okay, maybe you're feeling it different, differently, but I feel like that's, that's rising, that's getting brighter each time. How about this now? Right? To me that feels like it's getting darker, the sound is getting darker. And I know this is subjective, a little bit, but there's an ob objective quality to it because we're talking about, um, about, the, about the relationships on the circle of fifths. Okay, now that we know uh, how to brighten and darken on the circle of fifths, let's just see how, how we can analyze a tune using this, this language of brightening and darkening. So, I like this tune uh, named I Remember You. The bridge goes, starts in B flat major, but then it goes to D major. Right, this is a bridge. Then to C major, then back to F where we started. Now, if we just analyze that bridge, how we may have been taught to analyze it, you might think, okay, it starts on B flat, which is the fourth of the original key F, and then it modulates from B flat to the the major three of B flat major, D major. So it goes from, and then maybe it modulates down to the the fifth of of the original key F. That's some way that you might have might be taught to analyze harmonic progression like this. But we can use the circular fifths to think of it differently. We can say the bridge starts in this key center. And then what it does, it brightens by, by how much? I'll try to figure out right now by counting the notes, how much brighter is D major from B flat. And how we find that is by counting in steps. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that tells you, that tells me that D major from B flat, D major is four steps brighter. Hear that? That's so much brighter, right? It's like the sun is coming up. Then after that, it goes down to C major. So what is C major is just two steps darker from D major. You see? So this bridge, in a sense, we could just think of it as in terms of colors. We have B flat and we're getting brighter by four. But then, darker by two. And then, to go back to F, we're darkening by one. So that's just a, a way that um, you, can, you can analyze tunes uh, using the circle of fifths. So for my pan players, my tenor pan players, one way you can practice this is instead of practicing each of your scales in each of your keys independently, you can move from one key to the next seamlessly by thinking about about moving in steps, either in one step or two steps across this, along the circle of fifths. So one way you can do that is is to ascend in one key and then descend in a key uh, one step away. In this case, I'm going ascending in C major, descending in G major. Then you continue. You ascend in D major, descend in A major. It will sound something like this. can go keep going all the way back to C major it's one way you can practice it for my pan players but for everyone not just pan players how can we use this I'm just gonna give one one way that we can we can use this immediately um, using the circle of fifths to create a cool harmonic progression or chord progression. Instead of just thinking of chords diatonically, meaning within a scale, within a, a key, we can liberate ourselves from keys by 
by using the circle of fifths. And for now, we just we'll just talk about major seven chords since we've just been talking about the major scale. We'll talk about major seven chords. So how about we start off with let's say D major seven. And what you can actually do is write out okay, I want to first get darker by two by two steps. What does that mean? That means from D we go to the left or count clockwise two steps. We get to C major. So first D major down to C major. That's a darkening back two. Okay. So I don't know. Let's let's get crazy with it. Let's say now let's let's darken again, but this time let's darken by five. So we're in C major to darken by five, and we go to the left five times. One, two, three, four, five, and now we're in D flat. Right. So we've started off in D, darken by two, darken by five. Okay, and then how about we brighten now? We've been getting darker. This maybe is the story we're trying to tell, you know. Maybe we're trying to emote descending, getting darker, but then we want to we want to lift it, we want to add some brightness. So from here, how about we brighten by three? So we in D flat, brighten by three means going the opposite way. Anti-clockwise or to the right. Okay? So to go anti-clockwise, we go one step, two steps, three steps, and we get to B flat. B flat major. Awesome. So let's stop there. We have our four chords D major, C major, D flat major, B flat major. And then we can loop it and go back to D major. So that might sound something like. kind of cool. So just to recap, today we learned about the circle of fifths and how it relates to color in music. Color just being another dimension of music. And we use the circle of fifths to analyze a chord progression and we even used it to create a brand new chord progression. I even gave you an exercise that you can use to practice um, hearing different shifts of colors using um, the circle of fifths. And the whole point of this video is to show you that you can use this visual tool to help liberate yourself from having to think about key centers or sharps and flats and it leads to new harmonic possibilities. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.